Hello my owl fam, uh, my name is Brienne, you can also call me Alco, and in this video today I am going to kind of go through what you should do before you get your first crested gecko. Um, it has been a video that people have requested for me to do, so let's get to it. So, the first thing I want to do is thank everybody for watching this video because it is the first step that you need to be doing is doing your research on crested geckos. Now, don't take this video as a, oh, because I watched this video, now I can get a crested gecko because I now I know everything. Um, no, because this is not a care video for crested geckos. So if you do want to go and learn more about crested gecko care, I did make a video on um, most recent care for crested geckos that you can go see, right? I think it's gonna be on the side. I think. After you do watch this video, I do encourage you to go use any external links, go watch other videos on crested geckos because you want to gather all that knowledge about crested geckos so when you do bring your new friend home, you are fully ready to take care of them and keep them for 18 years. I also do want to mention that I do have a few links in the description, so go check those out right now or after this video on helpful web pages or I guess breeders as well um, that have posted their own crested gecko kind of care guides. I do encourage you to go and read, take a read through that and because that might answer some questions that I might an not answer here. All right, so as always, I do recommend that you get your reptile cage ready before you get your actual reptile. Now, for a crested gecko, you should, you can get multiple cages for your reptiles. However, I always like to recommend bigger the better. So I kind of made the mistake when I got my chameleon is that I got a smaller cage and now I actually have to upgrade and upgrade and upgrade. Um, whereas a crested gecko, I would probably recommend getting the recommended cage size, which is, a, I believe it's an 18 by 18 by 24 inch tall cage. Obviously, if you want, you can go bigger than that if they're an adult, um, but normally the minimum recommended size that for your crested gecko to live a happy and healthy life is an 18 by 18 by 24 cage tall. Um, right now I am keeping my crested gecko in about, I think it's a 20 gallon tank, um, aquarium tank. And right now he has been living in this past like two years and he's been doing pretty good. However, I do, like I said in one of my previous videos, I want to upgrade him to a bioactive enclosure and make my own um, wooden, I guess, bioactive enclosure instead of buying an expensive Exoterra. I like to recommend that you get this, the recommended minimum cage size or bigger, depending how you wanna go throughout things, but get that cage size so that in the long run, you do not have to upgrade unless you truly want to. Okay, so now that you've got your Crested Gecko cage, um, the next thing for you to do is actually set it up. Now, for a substrate, I do recommend that you just use a paper towel substrate for the first month, month and a half uh, when you first bring your Crested Gecko home because when you bring your Crested Gecko home, you want to make sure that you are monitoring them. You want to make sure that they're healthy, that they're going to the bathroom re like regularly, as well as eating and um, doing... I mean, you want to make sure that the Crested Gecko that you bought is going to be staying alive for you. <laughs> So other things that you want to add into your crested gecko's cage is going to be a ton of plants. So you're probably gonna want at least anywhere between four to five fake plants in your crested gecko cage because you wanna um, make a lot of hiding spots for them to hide in. Because when they come home, they're gonna be very shy and very scared of you. As well as for branches too and kind of vines. Um, you can buy some fake vines and the good thing is to to put them up vertically, um, different levels of the cage, just so that your crested gecko can get from A to B very easily. They can jump, they're very good jumpers, so they can jump as well, but sometimes crested geckos and other reptiles get lazy and they just want to walk. I also recommend that you put your reptiles in a room or your crested gecko in a room where there's not a lot of traffic. Um, if you don't have an office like I do, Maybe you have like a different a spare bedroom or a bedroom that does not get a lot of traffic in, into it. Do that too. Just make sure that 
your Crested Gecko does not get stressed out by the amount of people or traffic that is going to be going um, in and out of the room. Another thing I want to kind of point out is the location of where you put your cage. So if you have a window like I do in my reptile room, it can somewhat simulate the day and night cycle. However, my window that I have right now is very, very small. The walls are dark and it doesn't really bring too much light for my crusty echo, which is right there. <laughs> Um, so I do have an, a small Ikea light that I do keep on his cage. Um, it's connected to my chameleon's timer as well as my leopard gecko's timer. So when my chameleon's lights go off, all the lights go off and it kind of simulates nighttime for my reptiles. Uh, if you do have a room that does have a really good uh, natural light in it, then you do not need um, any active extra lighting for your reptile. So you wanna make sure that you have the right type of food for your reptile as well. I recently just bought a whole bunch of Pangea. I went to a new pet store in my city and they had um, some Pangea packages. I think only two pet stores in and around my city actually do carry Pangea. Other than that, you do have to order it from elsewhere, um, but it's actually pretty decent prices. This small package is about, I think, $11, 10 or $11, and this big one here is $23.95, so $24 Canadian. Um, you can also buy Rapashi, which you can get at most large chain reptile stores. So this is what I normally feed uh, Warlord My Crested Gecko. However, however, it's really expensive. I think a bottle like this, I don't even know how much is in here, six ounces, six ounces of Rapashi is $29 in the big chain reptile stores and holy crap, it's so freaking expensive. Um, it is good stuff because the brand does actually do its research and make its food off of what Crusty Geckos eat in the wild, but it is really expensive. And a lot of people anyways recommend Pangea, which is cheaper and really good quality as well and it also comes in more kind of i guess different variety of food for your crusty gecko okay i believe it's eight ounces or eight whatever so it's two more than the rapashi that i have right here um and it's 24 dollars and it is pangea fruit mix complete banana and papaya there's also like a banana and i think in mango or passion fruit one um, and then this one right here is a complete I think insect diet yeah and choose this diet the red ones are it just has like crushed up insects as well as fruit in it so it's really good for your crested geckos um, but yeah no it's honestly this or this I don't have enough hands all right, so one last thing that I do want to mention um, before you get your Crested Gecko is you want to consider what kind of age of Crested Gecko you want to get. Now, my experience, if you go to a reptile show, a lot of good breeders like to handle their reptiles um, or what they sell a lot. So either if it's a Leopard Gecko, Crested Gecko, um, Blue Tongue Skink, um, the older the reptile, the more it's probably been handled, the more use that it's going to be to you handling it. The younger the reptile, they don't have that much experience, so they're gonna be more timid and you are gonna have to take time out of your day to work with that reptile so it can be more handleable. And it really comes down to what you as a buyer or a future reptile crested gecko owner want. Now, do you want a reptile that is a little bit older um, and that you can handle more? Or do you want a small crested gecko, baby crested gecko, hatchling? You're gonna have to kind of watch it grow depending their personality. <laughs> you might you might have a crested gecko that might be more aggressive. You might have one that's more shy. Um, when they grow up, but if you do get an older crested gecko from a breeder or maybe someone that's selling or wanting to give it away so you're going to be adopting one, um, their personalities are already formed and their handling ability is mostly already formed. You can still work with older crested geckos, but it always, the more, my, my experience, older reptiles sometimes 
or more handleable. Anyways, I really hope you guys liked this video. If you do want to see more videos like this, please put it in the comment section below. Do not forget to give this video a big ol' thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and hit that bell button so that you do not miss any of my future videos. And I also want to give you a big reminder is to check that description box because there are some helpful links on Cresta Geckos about their care, health issues that they commonly have, um, as well as some extra tidbits in setting up simple enclosures, more complicated enclosures, as well as Cresta Gecko personalities, etc, etc. I'll let you explore those links. Give them a look because not only is this video going to help you be more prepared for owning a Cresta Gecko. There's also a few of my other videos as well as these links as some other really, really cool uh, reptile YouTubers that are very knowledgeable on Cresta Geckos. So go check them out and don't forget to love my channel. <laughs>